Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going lovely. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to try and squeeze another card project in today. The sun's going down, so I'm hoping I can get it done before the sun gets goes down. But we're going to be using a brand new collection that just arrived over at the Spellbinder shop. Actually, it arrived on the 10th of the month. And this is called BB's. But um, I want to call it Butterflies because BB Cameron came out with a butterfly collection. But this is called BB's Hummingbirds. And I think it's just as fabulous as the butterfly collection. So we're going to jump in and get started. We're going to start by creating a card using the Hummingbird and Lily die set. This creates some beautiful big lilies. And then there's a little butterfly. There's a dragonfly. And then, of course, the Hummingbird. And all of these are layerable that create beautiful um, florals. And hummingbird. What I love too is you see this little cloudy playful edge. That edge is in here also. So and it's a long size, so it's great for multiple size cards. We're gonna use this, and then for my sentiment, we're gonna be using the hummingbird sentiments. So let's jump in and do a little bit of die cutting. Um, hummingbirds, I love the teal and green colors of hummingbird hummingbirds. So I want to do a little ink blending, but I need a base color. So I thought the Peridot cardstock from Spellbinders Color Essentials would work out beautifully. I'm going to cut out a few stems and then a few flower buds. And then um, I have this dark gray. I think, I don't even know what color this is. I have, this is graphite. So this is chamomile and then this is rainforest cardstock. Um, I'm going to create the hummingbird first. Now this piece here you want to die cut out two of. And then the hummingbird body. I'm There's a beautiful lily in here, but I like the lily buds for my project. So I'm going to cut out, um, I'm actually going to cut out three of these. And then there's some leaves too that I'll cut out to go with it. The flower buds have a layer detail also. I'll take that and die cut that out. And then there's a couple more extra pieces for the hummingbird. That's where the graphite comes in. The hummingbird beak, I'll cut that out with that dark gray. And then this is the belly of the butterfly and this is the eye portion of the butterfly. I'm going to grab some white cardstock and I'm going to die cut out these two with white. Okay, now while, while we're die cutting, I'm going to use the border here. I'm going to use some white cardstock. This is an A2 panel, and what I plan on doing is I'm going to cut out a border in the top right, and then I'll take the same panel and I'm going to flip my die around and create a border, a corner piece basically. Um, on my white panel. So basically I want to have a gap down the middle and just two corner pieces. So I have a little bit of die cutting to do. When I'm all done die cutting, we'll go make a hummingbird. So I have all of my elements die cut out. I'm going to zoom in so we can see a little bit better. And then now we're going to do some ink blending. First we'll do the flower beds. That's pretty self-explanatory. I'm just going to do one and then I'll do two more off of cam um, off camera because they're going to be done basically the same way. I'm going to take Spiced Marmalade and Rustic Wilderness. We're just going to add a little color using my finger daubers. You can tell that one's a well-loved one. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of shading. Not, you don't really need too much because they're probably going to be covered. Just to the base of this um, flower bud stem. And then I'm going to go over the leaf here. And I'll add a little shading to this side also. Okay, and then for the flower, I'm going to take Spiced Marmalade. And I'm just going to go over one side. For the most part, it's these, um, these little flower buds, the thicker ones are going to be covered. And we'll do this one. Just to add a little color to those, a little bit of depth. 
Now to put these together, it's very easy. I'm going to bring in my glue. I'm going to add some glue to the top here. And we'll take our base flower. And we'll add these. And then I'm going to add a little more glue down the middle. And then the skinny ones go right down the middle. For the leaves, let's see. This leaf, I'm going to add a little glue here. You could really put the leaves anywhere on your flower. I'm going to do a little tucking with them, so I'm going to make the leaves adhere a little bit on the higher side of my stem, but of course you could go lower. So there are my lily buds. I'm going to put this off to the side, let this dry, and again I'm going to make two more of these. And now we're going to create our hummingbird. Again, I, we die cut two sets of these. And I took one tail away, this little fan piece here. Actually, it's, we have two of those. We only need one for the tail, so I'm going to take one away. The colors that I'm going to be using for my hummingbird, we're going to start with Salty Ocean. And I'm just going to add a little color at the very edges. And you know, this doesn't have to be perfect. That's the best thing about adding color. It just doesn't have to be perfect. But I loved there's um, embossed detail on here. For the tail, we'll add a little color here. So we have Salty Ocean. For the um, body of the butterfly, I'm just going to go around the back here. And I'm going to go up to the, the nose of the butter, or I guess to the, the beak of the butterfly, like so. And then I'm going to bring in a softer color. This is salvage patina. And I'm going to add a little bit of salvage patina right over the salty ocean. And I'm going to go up. And then we'll do the same thing over the body. I think that looks wonderful. You can see that so far we have the three colors. And then for my final color, I'm bringing in Squeeze Lemonade. And I'm going to go over that green. I'm going to blend these in to the green. Whoops. Kind of smooth it out a little bit. And I think that looks beautiful. Okay, I'm going to put these off to the side. Now before we put this away and before I put my inks away, I'm going to do one more thing. I have some tumbled glass distress ink. For this, I have the corners that we created with our border. I'm just going to add a little shading using my blending tool. For the most part, I want to keep those corners white. Okay, so we have just a little bit of color to those. And that's all the ink blend. Now to put together um, our hummingbird, you know what? I, I have the little white pieces that we cut out. Now this one, that little eye pops out. I put a little piece of black cardstock behind it just so it, we would have a black eye. Well, <laughs> that sounds funny. I gave my bird a black eye. <laughs> okay, now we're going to go ahead and use glue. 
there is some deboss detail on here so you kind of know where it goes I'm going to use my and then this is the belly portion I think I'm going to add a little color to that using the ink that's left over um, for my ink blending. This actually has squeezed lemonade and then it has a little bit of the, I guess salvage patina would be on there. The, the blue ink kind of smeared on my sponge, but that's okay. We're going to add this to the belly of our butterfly. Fits beautifully there. I'm going to flip my hummingbird around and right where the, the beak is, I'm going to add a little glue and then this way we can tack this down. Like so. And then I'm at the very end of this piece. I'm going to, you, you have two different, three different sizes. You have the very small, the very big, and the middle one. The middle one is the one that goes for the tail. And we'll add that. And then we're going to add a wing here. Add glue behind one of the smaller wings. And we can add that. And you know what? There's no right or wrong on how to build your hummingbirds. I'm going to go ahead and add a little glue behind here. And we can tack this down. I think that's a good spot. I think that looks pretty on its own. Now for this wing, I'm going to add a little glue on this section here. And then this one will line up in that very corner as a double layer. And then I'm going to add a little glue here. And then we can tuck this. I think that's a good spot. And our hummingbird is good to go. Isn't that so pretty? It's just beautiful. Now I'm going to go one step further. And I think hummingbirds are magical. When we lived out in the country, we had a wraparound porch and I would hang my hummingbird feeders out there. I would just hang one, one on, it was an L-shaped wraparound porch. And I'd have a hummingbird feeder on the front and on the side. And I promise you one day we were out there and there must have been 20 hummingbirds. It was just so magical, it was so pretty. So, so pretty. Anyway, I'm going to add some sparkle using some Nouveau Glimmer Paste. This is Moonstone. And to do that, this will dry really fast. If you don't have like Glimmer Paste or anything, you could use some glitter glue. But I like the way this looks when it's blended with my Oxide inks. I'm just going to add some to the wings. When I add it to my oxide inks, it kind of picks up the color. Let me you can kind of see it picking up the color here. And it kind of spreads really nicely. Okay, I'm going to let this dry and we're going to work on our background. This will dry pretty fast. To create my background, I'm going to adhere a piece of Glacier cardstock. It's a very pale blue. Um, I have a panel that's four and a quarter by five and a half inches. Now this is the perfect size for um, my card friend. It's a good good way to stretch your colored cardstock. Okay, we'll adhere this to the very front. Okay, now with these panels, I'm going to put some foam tape behind them. But before we do that, I'm going to stamp my sentiment. And I'm going to stamp it in this bottom section here. I 
I'm going to stamp Let Your Dreams Take Flight. I think that's a beautiful sentiment. And I'm going to stamp it with my black ink pad. On this corner here. Beautiful. I'm going to flip both of these over and I'm going to add some foam tape behind here and then I'm going to place them in the corners over here. So I adhered my border, kind of created like a cloudy look, and now I'm going to go ahead and add my flowers. I want my flowers to be tucked in and around. I, that's, I think that's a great spot for those, kind of wonky in and out of that border. I went ahead and put some foam adhesive behind my hummingbird. And I'm going to double up on it, actually. I want it one level higher than that um, cloudy border. And I'm going to add this to the top of our card there. Me and I think I'm going to do a little rearranging. I'm going to add, I think I needed some greenery over here. I think that's a better spot for those flowers. <laughs> and I think that just looks wonderful. I think that's a better spot for those flowers over here. But that will finish off my card today. I made it before the sun went down. Didn't have to use artificial light. And um, this is the Hummingbird and Lily's die set. I'll link it down below and I hope you get a chance to check out BB's Hummingbirds. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining me. We'll see you soon.